So smelly vision part two everybody. Thanks for joining me. I hope now that you can all hear me but you can't see me. That's the plan. That's what I hope. Because I'm testing this new, mic this new microphone that I've got. A lav mic. It's a wireless mic. Uh, and I hope that it's going to cut down on a lot of that wind noise. That horrible wind noise that I can't help just by recording myself through my, my phone mic. Uh, but I am here. And I am in this stunning bluebell woodland. It's just a carpet of bluebells. I came here a couple of weeks ago before they were in bloom. I'm trying to be really careful where I put my feet. Um, filmed Smelly Vision Part 1 when everything were green. So the plan is to take a couple of handheld photographs now, tonight, because I've only brought my camera with me. I'm travelling light. I'm going to take a couple of Anvil photos, I'm going to get a couple of compositions sorted out and then I'm going to come back either tomorrow morning or at this time again tomorrow evening. Because uh, this place here now, at this time, it's it's Friday, so happy Friday everybody, and it's five to six. I've had a bit of a gruelling, stressful week at work and I'm de-stressing. <laughs> what better, honestly, what better way to de-stress? There, there can't be one. Birds are singing, flowers are in bloom, everything's vibrant and fragrant, it's stunning. So, a couple of handheld photographs, find some compositions, come back tomorrow, because I haven't brought my polarising filter or anything, uh, I might even bring drone tomorrow, it's quiet in here, there's, there's nobody around at all. Uh, I'm going to get drone up and get a couple of sweeping shots over these bluebells, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for joining me everyone, let's go for a little walk. Some wouldn't entertain the sun, I'm shooting straight into it. But I quite like the effects that you can create. Okay, so this is the last photograph from me for today. It's absolutely styling it down now. Um, really, really struggling to keep my gear dry, or dry enough to get any reasonable sharpness in my images. Um, I've just been back to that place back there where there's that wild garlic, and it's impossible to shoot it properly. Uh, it needs some decent light, and I need to be able to get sharp focus on it. But this place here, this location now, this composition here that you can see, this is the bit that I had in mind when I set off this morning um, to come and photograph this or have a look around Recky this area. I went to location one last night, got a few photographs from there. Um, I'm not going back there today, there's no point. There is another location that I've got in mind as well um, that I'm going to go back to that I photographed in Smelly Vision Part 1. And as this is Smelly Vision Part 2 now, this is where I've come to, to finish today off. Okay, It's not the, the sort of, uh, conditions that I was hoping for. Uh, but it's nice. I mean, I don't I, I don't mind photographing in bad weather. Um, I'm not a fair weather photographer. 
at this year, this, this path that's curving around these, around these old oak trees, um, in amongst all these bluebells. We've even got some new hazel growth growing up at top with nice bright vivid leaves on, vivid green leaves on. That's framing the image. And I'm going to get a couple of different variations. I'm going to try and take some normal, try and get them sharp, try and keep my lens clean, let my lens dry as long as I can. And then I'm going to blur it. I'm going to just going to use a little bit of water smeared across lens. Well, not my lens, as I said, like a, uh, I can't use Vaseline on me uh, on my expensive lens. Uh, I've got an old UV filter on there that I'm going to smear a little bit of water across, and then I'm going to dry that water off. I'm going to put some Vaseline on, varying thicknesses um, to just soften the image a little bit. And I'm going to do single shots, and I'm going to try a little bit of a pano as well. Um, it, it's not a very wide sweep but it's just wide enough to be able to get there's a, holly, a, a hazel bush here up left the oak trees in the centre the, the, the frame with these hazel branches and a holly bush to my right ok so I'm going to try and get that now uh, and then as soon as I've done it I'm going to pack up and I'm going to go home I'm going to have a couple of beers Barsley or on telly later and then hopefully if this rain stops I'm going to go back to location 1 in the morning I'm going to come back to this place when there's a bit of sun on these blue bells and then I'm going to go to location 3 and hopefully put all this together as smelly vision part 2. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Welcome back. Smelly Vision Part 2, Scene 3. Uh, I was here on Saturday, it was a complete washout. Friday evening were glorious. The first part to this Smelly Vision Part 2. In another section of woodland, a lovely evening after work, de-stressing, and I got some pretty nice shots. Uh, I came here, or my intention were to come here on Saturday, the morning after, and get this area especially, with some nice light shining across these bluebells, but that didn't exactly go to plan, as you've already seen. It was a complete washout. Although I did get some nice saturated image with everything be images with everything be wet. Um, but I've just come back again now, just to try and get the last of this evening sun coming through these trees, shining some light across these bluebells and onto these old oak trees. Um, I've just taken a shot now of this composition, and as you can see, there's a bit of a, um, a path snaking its way through these bluebells in between these trees and that's that that's why I've come back. Um, this path's a lovely S shape uh, and it makes a, a nice leading line. Um, so in a minute I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to the other side of these trees, just past that holly bush up there, um, where you saw me in the last bit when it was wet, when it was absolutely saturated wet through and I'm just going to rejig the, the composition that I took, the, the one that I initially intended to come back for from that side um, because there was a little bit of a branch obscuring or obstructing this this pathway as it were as it were winding through those trees so i am going to go back there in a second i've just got a photograph of this that you've just seen me but just right now i don't know whether you can see the sun is just starting to shine on the grass and the blue bells so i've got my polarizer on front of my camera i've got my camera quite high so i can see this path leading in between these trees uh, and it's just fading away now, it's just gone behind a cloud, but it's not a big cloud. So I'm going to hang around here for a, a minute or two until the sun shines through these trees and lights these bluebells up and I'm going to get another image or another another photograph of this composition and I'll show you that now, but in, after that, in the meantime, I'm going to make the way to it's coming out again now. Look. So I'm going to get this shot and I'll see you at the other side of these oak trees. So I can see why I got that hazel branch in my shot on uh, on Saturday. Well, for two reasons really. 
were heavily loaded with rain, so it was drooping, um, but it is quite low. It's in a really awkward position. I do want that branch to frame this shot from above, because uh, then I'll have bluebells on each side. I'll have a hazel, a, a nice bright vivid green hazel branch above, and I'll have this path running in between, and these old oak trees uh, on left hand side. Uh, and the sun is now shining through these trees from my left, whereas when I were at a couple of minutes ago at the other side of these trees, taking this, this photograph from opposite side, it were obviously coming through from my right. But it does make a nice composition. This is the one that I'd got in mind a couple of weeks ago when everything were green. Um, and this is more or less the photograph that I took from more or less this same place. I think I were a little bit further back. I'll do it from there in a second. I think I might check the video actually and find out exactly where I were and check that exact same image again so you can see the whole point is smelly vision um, parts one and two everything green now everything in full bloom I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk in a minute see if I can get some wild garlic uh, but just for now this is quite a nice image you can see that sun now is lighting all these bluebells up I'm gonna get this shot now before that sun disappears behind that cloud again Just tweak my polarizer a little bit. That's it. That's better. Yeah, that's a nice image. I might just have to try and hook that branch onto another tree. Just lift it six inches. That's all I need, six inches, so I can get this path, because that low branch is just obstructing this path a little bit. It's either that, or I'm going to have to get down a little bit lower. Um, but if I get down a little bit lower, that'll make the path less visible. If I go up higher, um, I'll be able to see the path, but I'll not be at the same height as the blue, blue bells, which is I'm trying to get a compromise between them both. Uh, so I'm just going to play about a little bit, and I'll have a, a couple more goes at getting this shot move back a little bit further and I'll show you these, Im these images now. Just have another go at that. That's good. Wind's blowing it. It's this. It's this little twig. Uh, that is nice. Is natural, but it's a bit of a pain in the backside. So let's see what that looks like. That's better. That's the one. Bingo. Okay, so that's enough for me. Come here. That's it for another little vlog. Smelly Vision Part Two. Uh, it's been quite a nice, entertaining couple of days. It's some really bad weather midway through, and it's been hard to actually get this Smelly Vision Part Two put together. Uh, but it's the end of another day. I'm going to go home now, stitch a few little clips together. I'm going to have a little bit of tea. Uh, I'm going to let these have a little bit of a swim. Come on, Isla, in you go. Get in. Good girl. Get in, Pippa. Good girl. Get in. Get in. Good girl. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, um, please like and subscribe. Please feel free to share it. Um, a comment is always good. If you want to comment on it, that'd be brilliant. Um, here we go. Get in then. Isla. Get on, Pippa. Good girl. Get on. Get on. Good girl. That's a good girl. No, get on, that way. That's it. Good girl. She forgets she can swim. <laughs> but when she's in, she enjoys it. Good girl. Get on then. Get on then.
Get on then. Come on then, good girl. Right, that's it for me. I'm going to go and have a few beers. I'm going to stitch a few of these clips together. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, if you do, or you have, please feel free to share it. Like it, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, it would be really, really good if you would. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you.